Is this thing on? I'm just kidding. I know the thing is on. I was just testing to see if you knew it was on. Alright, here we go. That's me. Multiple thank yous. Hey. Well, I made it. I pretty much always make it, don't I? I mean, I'm usually here, like, physically. Well, not physically. I mean, I'm, I'm here technically, always. Whether or not, you know, I'm here, here. Well, that kind of just depends on the day, and the time of day, and a whole bunch of other factors, but, but I am here. It's my 9 o'clock weekday show, and that doesn't guarantee that other people will be here. It's a sad state of affairs, but... Still trying to figure out the best times in which to stream so that I can be there for my people, you know? I just want to be here for my folks. It seems like things really go down after 11.30, but I'll have to wait till 11.30 to see if that's the case tonight. Sure enough. Hello there. I hope you're having a swell night. I'm having a fairly swell night, I guess. A swell night there, Mr. Seymour. Yeah. Cool. As long as everybody is feeling swell, I guess. Leonard. Yeah, man, I'm fine. All right. We just want everybody to be doing well. I think I already said that. Well, we're just going to hang out until uh, somebody wants to talk with us, I guess. If that never happens, then... I guess we'll just die here. I'm just kidding. I'm, if I was going to die, I would sign off first. Nobody wants to see that. But I don't know. I might 
give my channel the push it needs. It's just that I wouldn't be able to experience any of it. And it would be kind of pointless, I think. Pretty much. What's going on there, LA Cozy? La Cozy? La Cause? Why? Not a whole lot is popping in here, I don't think. I'm hoping that it'll get popping. But. I mean, you showed up, so it's sort of like popping more than it was, like two minutes ago, so that's pretty rad. Everything everything in your world popping okay? Oh, well that's pretty awesome. I guess today has been fairly relaxing for myself. Just been sort of working and hustling, you know? You know how it is. You gotta hustle sometimes and Person. Now it's really popping, I think. Once we get multiple people in here, it really just starts popping all over the place. It gets off the chain sometimes, though. No. It didn't used to get off the chain around here, but. Nowadays, it's been known to get off the chain a little bit. Are you filling off the chain there, Mr. Leonard? Why are you calling everyone Mr. tonight? I don't know. Just kind of. It's kind of fun, I guess. My name is just Leonard. Alright, Leonard. I'm, I'm sorry that I called you Mr. I thought we were going to like start calling you Mr. That was like a thing. Changed my mind. Alright. Sorry. Can I call you Mr. Seymour sometimes? Yep. Alright, cool. Seymour doesn't care. And if, uh, if anybody has anything on their minds. Oh, hey, you fuck. I like how you and Kai alternate between who's going to be aggressive towards me. I know it's all in good fun, though. It keeps me on my toes. 
Yep. And you guys are like my oldest peeps who've hung around, so I guess we're kind of cool like that. And you can, uh, you know, take turns keeping me in my place, making sure I don't get too big of a head. Because, you know, I gotta stay humble. Did you ever get yourself a helmet? You didn't. I know you didn't get a helmet. See? Because people don't ever do things like paper, you know, I don't do things even. Nobody does anything, you know? Ever. Like, even myself. So, you know, I'm, you know, acting like I'm mad and stuff. I mean, I do want you to get a helmet. So, but, you know, I know, I understand. Alright. You won't be getting any paychecks if you keep riding that bicycle without a helmet. If you smash your skull in. I apologize for being so graphic, but it's been known to happen. So, I'd love to know some of the things that you put ahead of it. I mean, you don't have to share. I'm just going to use my imagination, but. I'm sure you've gotten some interesting things. Ooh, a moped. Those are my t Mopeds are like, I know they're not cool, but they're like definitely cool in my book. They're like my favorite motorized uh, two-wheeled vehicle. That and like electric scooters. Yeah, you definitely got to wear a helmet on one of those. I thought about getting like an electric bike, but I don't want to be like what do I do with my electric bike once I get to the place? Cause like people still like regular bikes. Like there's no way they're not gonna steal my electric bike if I just like chain it up outside. I would need like an electric bike that like folds up into a bag. I think that would meet my needs. Oh, well that's pretty good. I'm glad you don't have to worry about that. I guess you just keep it chained up outside. You can't just like put it in the break room or anything. That would be pretty annoying. You don't even have a bike lock? You just leave it like up against the building outside? That's, that's amazing. Wow. Oh. Wait, is this Starbucks that you work at in a hotel? Or did you get a new job?
Oh, I see. Fun. Well, that was that was nice of them to accommodate your bike riding. Hotels are interesting places to work. Our beloved producer used to work at a hotel at the front desk. I've heard all sorts of stories. Like she, uh, when she worked at a hotel and she worked at the front desk, she got to meet, uh, who's the dude that sings when a man loves a woman? Is that Percy Sledge? I think it's Percy Sledge. Yeah, it's Percy Sledge. The hotel she worked at was across the street from like some music venue and sometimes it was like a small music venue for like sort of like has-beens, I guess. Even though Percy Sledge is a legend, but he's uh, the gentleman that that's not Michael Bolton that sings when a man loves a woman. He stayed at the hotel. And he called at the front desk one time and was like, Can you bring me some towels? And my producer, being the front desk clerk, was like, Yeah, I can bring you some towels. And she brought him some towels and he answered the door in his underwear. They were boxers. But she thought it was funny seeing the man that sings when a man loves the woman a woman in his boxers alright let's see what you got there oh wow that looks pretty badass Yeah, you won't get, like, wind and bugs in your eyes. Dang. Are you gonna go for the black one, or are you gonna... It's kind of weird how the, the neon green one is, uh, cheaper. I guess if you're going for like bad ad bad acidness you would want to go for the uh for the um Oh hell yeah if you're gonna and no, yeah. Totally. Gotta look badass. At first, when he posted the link to the Amazon, I thought you were gonna show me some of the weird things that you bought instead of your bike helmet. Oh, you're welcome. I'm just glad it was me that reminded you and not like a tree. Oh, I forgot to smile when I winked. If I don't smile when I wink, I just look like weird. Wait, I gotta smile first and then wink. I'm trying to get it down. Hold on. There we go. Yay.
Oh my god. The Super Game Boy 2, I can see how important that is because the original Super Game Boy was not, um, did not have the right amount of hertz or whatever. So it fucked with the speed of the Game Boy games. So I can see how that's. That's important. Oh, but you had a Game Boy player, I guess, for the GameCube? Did the Game Boy player actually play Game Boy games too? I didn't realize that. Huh. An automatic. A uh, cat water fi filter. Tattoo ink. Like, like just the ink, or like, oh, some like jailhouse tattoos kind of thing. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I guess if you, uh, if you feel confident doing that, I did post a tutorial, like, a hundred episodes back, sometimes la sometime last week, on how to effectively draw my face, so, if you need something to go, bye. What else? A webcam, an action replay. Oh, uh, you think that's going to be it? Okay. Um, glasses cleaner and a desk and a computer chair. Well, those were mostly, uh, comfort things. So that's a... Wait, you need an action replay to do the Game Boy games on the, the Game Boy player? So it doesn't do them by default. You have to uh, hack into it or are you doing some crazy shit? You keep saying the Game Boy interface. I see. Gotcha. Low latency. Screenshot saving. Ooh. Oh, I see. That's pretty awesome. I guess, uh, 
they'll help you on your quest to be the cave noir champion of the world plus with a whole new desk and a chair you'll be super comfy doing it so how rad is that that is a it's pretty admirable that you do your your speed runs and stuff on original hardware and all that stuff. Yeah, if you're gonna, you know, try to figure out how to master a game, I guess those kinds of things are important. That's cool. I mean, it seems, as far as I can tell, a pretty obscure game. So, you know, it's cool that uh, someone is looking into that. Somebody's got to, got to do it. I think the few times that I've um, checked it out, it looks like it's um, completely in Japanese. Have you looked up the translation yet so that you know what's being said? Or maybe I've uh, underestimated your ability to read Japanese, but... Gotcha. Oh, I see. I still gotta get on my Japanese lessons. And then my Spanish lessons. And then my French lessons. Yeah, from what I understand, fan translations are a uh, pretty hit and miss. someday that I can be the best at something but I put all my effort into to the show so now I just have to try to be the best at doing my own show I've gotten pretty good at it though this November or so you'll have been with me an entire year and you've seen seen us grow a little bit. Pretty soon I'll be able to speed run this shit at 100%. all the, the new people I've had to learn about memes and stuff that's getting kind of crazy 
I didn't think it would come to that. I thought I could just be ignorant. I mean, I don't think I, I don't know. I mean, I know I self I'm self-deprecating a lot, but I mean, it has helped that people I've tuned in and be, have been like, I like it. Although some people have tuned in and said they like it and then they like disappear forever. Probably on one of the episodes where I'm like, I suck. I'm terrible. But That is very true. Do you think I'm really good at this show? Well... Uh, well, now you have that all that new equipment, so maybe it'll help you get back up on your game. That sounds pretty tough. You got a competitor. I found out that I have a competitor yet yesterday. There's another animated talk show person on the block. So that's interesting. Well, I don't I don't consider them I know this sounds snobbish, but I don't exactly consider them in my niche. They are an animated character who sometimes sits behind a desk, but they're using that face rig software. So they're just sitting in front of a webcam using that software you buy on Steam. So like, I mean I knew the day it was coming when I heard about that software like last year or whatever. So you know there's going to be a whole bunch of rabbits and anime girls on, tw on Twitch before too long but you know they can't compete with this. You can't have four puppet pals with uh face rig. Oh hell no. Nope. Nope. So, but he's like some sort of superhero with a castle spire for a head. Oh, well thanks. I think he's like an American that uses, I could be wrong. He could be using a real British accent, but he's got like an accent and I don't know. I don't I'm not talking shit, I guess, but it is kind of interesting. It means I gotta step up my game. I made the chat box look a little cleaner today. It's a little bigger so that it can be seen more easier. Look how Look at those clean fonts over there. Damn. So, cleaned up a little bit. I'm glad you noticed. That kind of took forever. Mm-hmm, look at them fonts. I don't want to introduce a whole bunch of gimmicks to this show, but I do want to make it nice, nicer even. Yeah, when Seymour was uh, 
experimenting with his uh with his speaking i think you were definitely the first to notice yeah i mean the chat the chat box has been the same pretty much for like for like you know two years so to even make a small update of it oh wow your name is orange on here just like it is on discord I noticed that. Wow. I don't know if that's a coincidence or or what, but you're an orange name sort of gal, I guess. Oh yeah. I made my name green because I have a green shirt on. I was going to make my name yellow, but it doesn't show up very well on, on gray, on light gray. I mean, the background of the, like, the Twitch chat is like a light gray. So, like, that kind of limits any light colors you can use. But yes, your, your orange... Um, your orange name stands out on a light gray. It looks great on the black, the, the blackish color of uh, my on screen chat thingy. So cool. Let me see. I think I'm green. I don't really post in chat very often. Oh, yeah. Oh, what's up, presidential puppy? Hey. Yep. I called you presidential puppy. Oh, well, I'm sorry that, that you were forced to be here. Puppy try. Well, what brings you here, Presidential PP? Oh, I didn't know he was a viewer of the show. Hey, Al, maybe you could donate some bits or like some donations every once in a while. I know you got the money, Al Gore. So he just like, he is Mr. Former Vice President, that's true. So like, when he sexually hostages you, y'all just sit here and watch this show? Or like, does he like this show? We've got our carving credits. Tell them that we bought car carving credits and shit. Like, you know, we compost all of our garbage. I mean, we don't, but like, tell him that. And then tell him to like, donate a bunch of money. That would be rad. What's weird? I don't know what's weird. Really? Huh. That is odd. I live in Georgia, which you know that, 
and the town that I live in has like recycling bins and they pick up the recycling. Yeah. You know, people think that, uh, people in the south are just like throwing their garbage, like, you know, everywhere and only liberal cucks, like, recycle their garbage, but here in, here in Georgia, you know, they recycle the fuck out of things. That is odd. It defies all stereotypes. It sure does. You burn all of your trash? Like for enjoyment? Or is that like... Like a thing... Tomorrow is trash day for me. I just put it on the side of the road. So that the prisoners can pick it up. Oh. Okay. That is, uh... That's sort of odd. Like... Hmm. Okay. I'll buy that. It is, uh, bizarre. Weird. So it's like a, a real strict ass thing like no trash cans like do they have like some sort of reasons like trash cans are unclean or they draw bugs or whatever or like what's the deal with that do they do they also does he also burn his trash or like Oh, so you have, like, you're allowed to have a trash can, at least. You're not banned from, like, having, like, a little small receptacle in your room for things. I would not be into the idea of burning my trash, but I'm extremely afraid of fire. Gotcha. Yeah, I'm very afraid of fire, so I would be afraid. Even if I'm like outside, like I'm just overly cautious. Right on the edge of the forest. Oh. Well. Uh. Well, if I start hearing about fire fires break, forest fires breaking out in your neck of the woods, you're, I won't knock you out, but be careful. There I go, being Daddy Alex again.
Mama Alex, yeah. I'll accept both. Some say that I have Mama and Daddy qualities. Some would say. Presidential puppy dog. Oh. Oh, that must have been uncomfortable. You took the train to the big city, huh? I guess in such a situation it's hard to tell. I think you and I both know that the likelihood that it is true is probably like 50-50, but well, the sort of people who would who would do such a thing probably have uh, gone through a lot of trial and error as far as being convincing but also a person who was uh, truly in need would also seem convincing as well so I guess that can get sort of difficult It's so cool that you've been on a train. I want to go on a train just one time. Like a really fast train. I bet. I've never even been on like a subway train or a monorail or anything. So you don't even have like a bus system in your town? No good. I mean, not that I ever take public transportation. I mean, I still haven't left my house since Christmas Day. So, I don't take any mode of transportation. been on a bus since I was like four years old. No, I take that back. I've been on a school bus. I like the way the exhaust of a bus smells though. 
a lot. Sometimes I just want to go to a bus station and just smell all the buses. Like maybe not so much the inside, but I love the smell of a hot bus. With its, yeah, both of those things are nice. Now I want a candle that smells like buses. I wonder if they make that. That's true. If you smell gasoline too long, it will also fuck you up and possibly kill you. It'll make your brain go wow, wow, wow. And it might feel cool at first. It's not cool if you die, because then everyone's like, oh, how did Alex die? His dumbass was huffing gasoline and died. Yep. Wow, 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 wow. And I've made it my life's mission to not die doing something stupid. I've, I've done stupid stuff, very risky things, but I didn't die, and I won't do them again because I won the lottery as far as not dying, doing the stupid things that I have done. that we made it and wow, wow, wow. for the record I never actually like huffed gasoline but I've known some people who have whoa yep so they survived, but it was, uh, they shouldn't have done that. Ah, uh, weed smokes. I don't think it's, uh, That's definitely not um, huffing gasoline, so that's good. Aww. Are you near Colorado? We know Connecticut's like. I keep forgetting that Connecticut's not in the, the Midwest, I don't think. Near Boston. You're gonna make a spinoff. How are you gonna make a spinoff? Massachusetts. Oh, I see. Well, I mean, when you said Boston, I just kind of assumed you meant Massachusetts, basically.
and a presidential puppy dog. I mean, you can make a show called It's Me, I'm Rob. That's fine. But it's not exactly a spin-off if it's not endorsed by the original. Nor will it contain any of the same characters. Oh. Well, some of the people on our staff are trying to get us to to move to a state where recreational is legal because they don't really have the connections either. I'm like, what, do we have to like change the whole canon of the show because you guys want to buy a sack legally? And they're like, please, Alex. Oh, can you? Do I need to send you some bitcoins or whatever? I've got about four dollars in bitcoin that I got off some bitcoin faucets. Well dang, that's not illegal. I am selling stock on the show. Oh yeah, you are a cool cat. Damn. But of course I... Marijuana is illegal in the state in which I live. So I certainly would not be purchasing it nor advertising such a thing that I would be intending to do so on this show. Plus I don't smoke it myself, people on my staff does. I mean, you know, if the price is right, yeah, I'll sell the fuck out of this show. It won't have me on it, it'll be an imposter. So I think that everything that's awesome about this show would be gone. So... But I think my asking price for selling this show would be like... 100,000? I think I could take 100,000 and live pretty comfortably if I invested it right. Well, now for a hundred dollars, I'll make you executive producer for the next 20 minutes that I'm on the air. Even though you said that I was a train wreck yesterday. Oh, do you... Oh, I see. Well, I like to leave that ambiguous. You know what I mean? Like... I mean, it might be ambiguous to myself. I mean, okay. Let's say I am a loony, right? I'm crazy, unstable, a train wreck as you so politely put yesterday. But yet, here I am, hosting this show. 
you know? How is that possible? Where did this show come from? How? I don't know. I mean, I think that I have a very good community of of viewers who um, watch this show and they're like, you know, I watch this show. I probably cannot out crazy you. I mean, I'm not saying that I'm like, you know, 100% stable. I don't think anyone is 100% stable. And I get manic sometimes, and sometimes I'm depressed and down on myself and stuff, but. I think for the most part I got it got it together. For the most part. There there are some times when I don't have it together. And now that I do the show like every single day, multiple times a day, it's uh it's much easier for for my uh less pleasant side to come out even if I'm trying to hide it on the air you know what I mean but I think that's what makes me real you know mm-hmm just trying to be real with y'all want this to be a place where people go and they can be like, Alex is so real. None of that fake bullshit. Well, I kind of think, presidential puppy dog, that you are on the fence as to whether or not you want to be a part of this. Whether or not I'm to be watched and enjoyed, or whether or not I'm to be trolled and put in my place. And I'm really curious where you're going to come out on top of that decision. But I just, I hope that you make the right decision, you know? And if you choose poorly, it could end badly for you. You know? That's not a threat. I'm totally not threatening you. I'm just saying that you could regret your decision. I would hate for that to happen. I have my own regrets in life and well, some of them I can't go back and change. I just want you to be happy, presidential puppetry.
you must be licking Al Gore's ball sack right now. Just get back to me when you can. When you stop. Or whatever. Mr. Mr. Gore is an older man, so he probably appreciates it. It's all fleshy and oh gosh, I started picturing it in my mind. To be honest, I've never seen an older person's genitals before. I don't think that I want to until I become an, an older person. Uh... Huh. I feel like if I answer that, it becomes canon. I'm not ready to, like, like I feel like there, there might be like an episode in the future where like I want to expand upon that, and if I write myself into a corner, then it could get tricky. Like when the when the it's me I'm Alex expanded universe gets started, it's gonna you know they'll they'll have to be like you know how many genitals has Alex seen? I have to refer back to here. I've seen enough genitals to know some things. I guess I'll leave it at that. I don't think that I've seen more than average, like, compared. Oh, well, I'm, I'm glad that it was you and not someone else. But I've, I've, I have not seen more than the average amount of genitals that a person of my stature would have seen at this point in my life. So, oh, uh, you know, like, I think most people have seen their parents' genitals at some point, right? So that's at least two. And, uh, You know, two or two to five sets of genitals. Oh god, I've said too much. I didn't plan for this contingency. Let's just say I'm 13. Oh. 
let's just say I'm 18. I see. Well, I guess, uh, I guess that's probably not very accurate considering, but. That is, uh, when I first read it, I thought that it said that you've done the deed with more than 48% of your peers. And I was like, that's a lot of peers to be, like, doing it with. But then I... That it, it didn't say that you had done the deed with 48% of all of the people your age. That would be ridiculous. But... I mean, 48% is less than 50. So... I mean, it's certainly way more than like 20%, like an 18 year old virgin or whatever. I wonder if my producer would participate. Probably not. Nobody here at this show is into that sort of debauchery either. Not that it's debauchery, you know. I'm just saying that that sort of thing is just Oh, that's so sweet that you love tartar sauce. Those are both very, very good sauces. Tartar sauce is all... I'm confused, presidential puppetry. I thought we were going to talk about sauces. You flipped it on its head. I guess if, uh, if 
that makes you feel whole or whatever. The people dip their tindies into you. How does it feel when people dip their tindies into you and like pieces of the tindy crust like come off and get stuck inside of you? I hope I didn't embarrass you. Alright friends, well all this food talk is uh, making me hungry and I still haven't eaten supper. I know this is supposed to be my after supper show but I had a bunch of work to do so I'm going to sound the horn and go eat something and I'll be back tonight at 11.30 and if you guys can make it that's cool and if you are unable to I understand. We're all busy folks. All right, you get you get another question. You're welcome, Petricide. I hope so too. You are really curious about me, aren't you, Double P? I want to stream because I was always meant to exist in some form or fashion. I was born to exist and to perform for people and so by streaming it puts my face in front of other people's faces and I like it and the more that I stream the more often people see my face and I like talking to people Sometimes I, uh, sometimes I do a nine o'clock show and, and nobody's here. And this one, you and Petricide were with me, and that was cool. I got to talk to some people, and it was nice. Oh, you can text it too, if you want to. Uh, I know you can't text from your super secret unknown number, but. So yeah, that's why I do it, for the love of the game. Didn't you call earlier? I feel like it said it was from an unknown number, which is fine. Oh no, that's right, it was Jim. I'm sorry. 
I confused you for Jim, whoever Jim is. Right. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to baselessly accuse you of calling my show. Yikes. Alright. Well. That sound means it's time for supper. I gotta cook it. I gotta cook me some supper so that I'm ready for my show in an hour again. And uh, thanks for watching you guys and uh, I hope that you have good times and uh, be sure to remember. Goodbye.